What's going on guys, Georgie here. Today, I'm gonna to be giving you guys the new and improved V3 civilian tutorial. Now, our previous tutorial was about eight months old, but this new and improved tutorial goes over everything that has changed since then, along with how to apply for departments, our public comp system, and much more. So, we first start off with the Discord side. When you first join the server, you're gonna be greeted with a message telling you a lot of areas that you can actually join. So there's a tutorials channel, the rules channel, department apps, discords, the store, and new tickets. These are very crucial for whenever you're looking to enhance your role play, such as departments, gangs, organizations, and much more. The first part we're going to go over is the CAD. So the CAD tutorial link is right here. Please watch this video as it goes over everything you need to know for the CAD. It's about three minutes long, so not too long, but this is the link for the CAD. This is useful for whenever you get pulled over by a cop. You can give them your information so that they can enhance their role play scene along with yours. So reaction roles are great for whenever you're looking to get pinged for certain areas of the server. So if you're notified, giveaway, notified, service status, these all have their own roles. So they'll be pinged whenever there is a certain issue for that area. So these are great for that. Public officer will be opened up later down the line. When this is open, you'll see the channel. For now, it is closed as the video is being uploaded um, at the end of November. These tutorial videos are great. So this is where the new video will be posted along with if you have issues with your audio. And chain of command is very useful. So if you're ever looking to message a high staff member, please follow this chain of command. If you don't follow the chain of command, you'll probably get a slow response or no response at all. So please make sure you follow this chain of command. You can clearly read what each person does for the server up until trial management. So make sure you message the right person for whatever issue you may have. Announcements are really important for whenever new changes happen to the server, such as whenever we release V3, all of the changes were listed here. So if you see a ping here, make sure you check it, read what it has. Anytime we do a sale, it'll be posted here as well. Server information is very useful for all your keybinds, in-game commands, any links for our social media accounts, IP of the server, store, CAD, all that good stuff. So um, this is pretty self-explanatory. All the commands for the chat are in here, all your keybinds are here, and all the menus that we have in-game. Server status is anytime the server has an issue, it's going down, or 5M is having an outage, you'll find that in here. So check that anytime you're having issues. And server rules are very self-explanatory. All the rules that we have for the server are in here, so make sure you read it before you join. If you don't and you get punished, then, you know, That'll be your own fault. So make sure you read these and follow those rules. Connect issues are very self-explanatory. If you cannot connect to the server due to any of the reasons listed above, make sure you read this. It'll tell you how to fix it. FAQ is very useful. So if you ever have a question in the server, make sure you read the FAQ channel. That way you're not asking a question that can be found in here. If you don't find the question that you have answered in here, please open up a ticket and we'll be more than happy to assist you. But everything else is found in here. Points of interest are great if you're looking to find areas on the map that are custom maps and you're looking for places where people are usually at. These are typically maps that people are role playing at. So these are all the postals and the name of what the area is. PSRP discords are great if you're looking to enhance your role play. Here you'll find in the gangs a lot of different variety of gangs from MS-13 to 18SS. And organizations also feature NSC Customs, FAA, SADOT, a lot of great areas where you can enhance your role play. And if you're ever looking to make a ticket for additional support, you'll find the new tickets channel. Each category tells you what it's for, so just open it up here. And department applications are great for applying for LEO or SAFR. So when you first open up 5M and you're looking to join Paradise State Roleplay, it's very simple. Simply just type in PSRP in the search bar and it'll be the first one up there. If you have filters on, this may not show, so make sure you turn all your filters off and it'll be the first one on there. Once you have clicked on the server, you can click connect and give this a few minutes to download all the assets. And once it has downloaded all the assets, it'll let you load in and I'll see you guys in game. Okay, so once you have loaded in the server, a map will appear so you can select your spawn point. And once you've selected your spawn point, you'll appear right in the server. And so the first thing you'll see is open for PSRP guide. Now this is only useful if you've never played 5M before or never played the server. If you have, then you can skip this part. But by pressing E, it'll give you all of our server rules, FAQ, CAD, basically everything in the server that you saw in the Discord is also found in the game doing slash help or coming to one of these points here. So once you hop in game, easiest way to change your outfit is by pressing F1, go to player related options, MP pet customization, create new male character. When you're going through the clothing, it may take a second to load because all of this clothing is custom. So give it a few minutes to load depending on your internet speed and it should show you the custom clothing. Now you can create your outfit however you want. But once you've created it, click save and name the character and that'll give you your character. Now to spawn in cars, press F9 and all of the top cars will be paid. So if you're looking for any of these packs and you want to use them, they're all exclusive models. You can just pay on the store and purchase that. But if you're looking for the free cars and you don't want to buy them, you can go down to the little emoji that looks like a man. And these are all free cars. These are all accessible to you. Hundreds of cars just accessible for free. So you just click on the car, give it a few seconds to load in. It'll spawn. Now, a really cool thing about every single car on the server is that if you press G on your keyboard, 
it'll open up a radio so you can put any youtube link or mp3 link in here and it'll play it now make sure you're just not using anything appropriate but it does give you a radio that everybody else can hear around you you can even turn up the volume by doing these very self-explanatory radio very neat so that's how the radio works now if you're in game and you're not looking to get vdm'd or rdm'd and you want to be immune from that all you have to do is do slash passive toggle and this will make you immune so uh, when you're in passive toggle nobody can kill you or hurt you and then if you do passive toggle again it should take it off now also whenever you hop in the server and you spawn in your car the hud on the bottom may look very big but an easy way to change that and customize it to your liking is by pressing y and then in the settings menu you can change what you want displayed you can change the refresh rate you can change the colors of everything and then click save and that will save now when you're in game it's very important that you have a microphone if you don't have a microphone in paradise state roleplay you will be kicked and likely uh, punished if you join again so make sure you have a working microphone and an easy way to understand if your mic works or not is by pressing n and talking to your microphone and you'll see in the bottom right that lights up on my screen so that's an easy way to tell if your mic works and another thing that's exclusive to paradise state roleplay is the f3 menu so this is where you'll find a lot of dance emotes prop emotes these are very cool for whenever you're just looking to you know play around with your friends you can just use any emote there are hundreds there's 455 variety of just basic emotes and then 51 dance ones so um, these are how you can use your dances and if you want to stop just press uh, and chat e e ec or do cancel emote now looking at the map when you press escape go to the maps on the bottom left you'll see the map here so very important thing to understand is that the bottom half of the map is considered ls and then the top of the map is considered blaine county sandy shores is a per is a place you really don't want to go because a lot of trolls come here so if you don't want to get rdm'd or vdm'd or have any trolls avoid sandy Lido's a great spot grape seed's a great spot um vine or vinewood up here is a great spot um avoid grove avoid legion those are terrible spots people are always messing around there um so you'll find a lot of great areas in vinewood Polito, and other areas like that now another great addition to paradise a roleplay v3 is the f6 phone so when you first press f6 it'll ask you to set up your phone uh, just follow those steps and set up your language but once you get into the phone you'll have a lot of options so in order to view instagram and twitter you have to go to the apps and install them but once you're in there you can use Instagram and look at photos. You can post your own photos. You can record videos on this phone. A very amazing feature that we have in the server that many servers don't have. You can also go to your settings, view your phone number. You can text people, FaceTime them. A lot of great things that you just can explore with on this phone. That's how the phone works. Now, if you're ever encountering an issue in the server, you can always call for an admin by doing slash call admin in the game. Make sure you put the reasons. So if I got VDM, I do call admin VDM. Um, by Civ and go ahead and call for an admin. They'll come to you if they're available. If they don't, they're typically busy. So just understand that. But make sure you have a clip or some evidence proving that that person, you know, broke a rule in front of you. If you don't have a clip, the staff member can't punish them. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it for the V3 tutorial. If you guys had any questions at all, feel free to join our Discord on my bio. But other than that, feel free to join today, join an apartment, apply for any of our organizations, gangs. There's so much to offer within the server. But it's very important to remember to avoid Sandy, Legion, and Grove. A lot of people join and expect to find great roleplay there, but instead they find VDM, RDM. So avoid those areas and let our staff take care of them. But other than that, feel free to hop in the server, customize your outfit, get your phone, get your custom car, and have a great time. So if you guys found this video helpful, make sure you leave a like. Put any questions you have in the comments down below. But other than that, see you guys later.